Sanjay, lovely to meet you. Tell me, what is the fame game for you? The fame game being in the industry for what? Over three decades. Well, uh, a lot of hardships, a lot of uh, struggle, lots of ups and downs. But that's the uh, fun part of it. Uh, no, like they say, uh, no pain, no gain. No pain, no fame. <laughs> I totally get that and you've shown, highlighted that very well in this series. Second question, reuniting with your Raja Costa because abhi tak mere dimaag mein, the images of the two of you dancing to Akhiyan to Milao. So what was that like? Well, it's, uh, I'm very fortunate uh, out of the 2000 days that I've shot in my life in the past 28 years, uh, 200 days I've shot with uh, Madhuri, I did Raja. Uh, I've done another movie called Mohabbat, which released yes. in 97, which is 25 years back. And our fame game, so I think so, it's fantastic. Who better than her to uh, share screen space with? So it's fantastic. I still remember the first shot I gave with her was way back in 1993, January, where uh, I come, uh, it's her shot, and I come uh, just be from behind, and I say, Zara phir se kehna. She says, Kisi din banogi mein Raja ki rani. That's the first shot I gave. Oh. And I say, Zara phir se kehna. So that's my memory. And it's beautiful. Though. Wow. And three decades later, both of you still in sync with each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. But you know, I like the show, the premise of the show. It's thrilling. It also gives us a back, you know, a fly in the wall experience of what actually the industry is all about. So what was it for you to come on board as Nikhil? Because your character has a whole lot of grace, but he has his own story. Well, first first of all, uh, yes, uh, 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 you know, this is, this is a fictional thing. Uh, it's not so exaggerated the way it is in this show. What so happens... Hey, we have a lot of stories that we have to meet. No, it's not exaggerated as much as here. When you see the show, you will know. Yes, you will see the whole show. I don't know. I have not seen it. Then you are fortunate. But this is more exaggerated. But yes, any kind of famous personality in our house, you know, any kind of famous personality in our house, there is always these equations are there, the complexes are there. Uh, our husband always has a, if when the wife is extremely, extremely successful, even if the husband is a big, big businessman, but jo fame wala hai ke aap restaurant mein baithe ho, jaise for example I'm saying, aur sab aake pehle aapki bivi se milte hain, aur phir ek nazar lagta hai, isko bhi hello bol dete hain. So it's a little awkward and a little uncomfortable. And uh, here, that's what, it's not exactly the restaurant scene in this thing, yeah. but I like in one line I'm saying it is, like this character, Nickel has got his reasons of having his complexes and all. He loves his wife. He's obsessed. And I think so it hurts him even more because he's so much in love with her. Absolutely. But he can't, you know, get with it. Ke, uh, you know, he's always in her shadows and uh, he doesn't have an identity. You know, he's known as... He doesn't say but he always says Anamika Anand ka husband. Kehte. I know, and they've been. So that's actually for me. That was the most challenging part of the role, where I get to play these this kind of both characters, where I'm the producer and I'm like larger than life. But when she's around, I've got this uh, loss of identity. And you know, there have been a lot of narratives in the film, uh, you know, scenario also on this issue where the successful wife. I know you're the bang opposite in real life, you know, because your wife always. The, the, the way Maip is going in Bollywood wives. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's getting close in real life too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, since I actually said I've been like speaking to her a lot more yeah. in the last two years. But I mean, kudos, as they said. Yes, behind. absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bollywood Wives was fantastic. I still remember when she did the show, she was very insecure. But the way they've, these girls have done it and uh, Maeve uh, in front of the camera, whenever I see her, she's fantastic. So. I hope she becomes very successful. If I'm also successful with it, then it's good. Otherwise, my life will be like in real life. But let me tell you something. After the first season of Bollywood Wives, there was actually a Twitter, like Twitter, I mean, it's all on Twitter, it was like Sanjay Kapoor should have his own show. Well then, Netflix team, are you listening? Please start a show. With me, I'm available. <laughs> no, but it's amazing. You have done a lot of web shows. In, in the, do you feel, also for somebody who's done the cinema, as you said, Uttar Chadhav dekhe hai, hmm. box office se sabki kismat badalti hai, tootti hai, ulajti hai. Hmm. So, do you think with OTT, it also has liberated the actor from the box office, that apart? 
also given you a wider arc or the kind of stories to do which in the film format maybe you wouldn't have been approached because it was stereotype formula. Ho jata. Yes, I'll answer both the things. First of all, uh, yes, uh, OTT has given a great platform just not for me, for a lot of other actors too. Because like I said, ke otherwise there are 10 stars in this industry. जो होता है कि ये पिक्चर इनके बिना बिकती नहीं है और दो घंटे की पिक्चर में अगर आप दूसरे एक्टर्स होते भी हैं तो इतना मौका नहीं मिलता उनको परफॉर्म करने का यहाँ पे फॉर एग्जांपल यस माधुरी इज़ देयर इन दिस शो एंड शी इज़ एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली पॉपुलर एंड बिग स्टार बट लाइक फॉरगेट मी यू नो लक्षवीर मुस्कान बिकॉज इट्स eight episodes so they have an opportunity too so that's what happens in OTD you really really every actor gets that moment you know you you get a lot of scenes you get a lot of chance to perform and everything and where I'm concerned yes for me actually uh, I keep on saying uh, you know what a 30 minute like I did Lust Stories which was again in Netflix uh, which came in 2018 and it was a 29 or 31 minute short film and it just changed my perception as an actor where people really, really liked me. I keep on meeting so many people even today after four years and they keep on talking about last stories. So uh, yes, it and what happens in OT, it, it has got a shelf life. It is not a weekend kind of a thing. If you miss it, it's gone. Yeah. You know, people, people watch it after one month. People can watch it after a year. People can watch a show of, uh, uh, they can watch last stories after they see this interview because it's just there. So yeah, your shelf life increases and uh, yeah, and you get a chance to perform and I've been very, very fortunate that I'm getting some great work and uh, yeah, God's been kind. Yeah. No, honestly, and also from a family that's been what, five to six decades? I mean, your father would be six decades, I think. Probably a little, yeah. Huh. I mean, usse zada, but I'm just giving yeah. an approximate. You are a family, I mean, they say in a Bollywood pedigree, I mean, has been in the business for so long, have seen the highs, the lows, as you said. But now you have Generation Next also stepping in. Do you think it's easier for them or is it tougher from the time when you all were there? I, I wouldn't categorize, categorize it by saying easier or tougher. Everybody's got a journey. Everybody gets, a, uh, you know, finally you have to be good. Finally, when you're in front of the camera, uh, you could be anybody's son, brother, sister, daughter. You have to be in front of the camera. But I genuinely feel... It's definitely more tougher because your expectations are much more higher. Uh, your first film is compared to the last film of your sibling or your parent or anything. So to break that thing, it's definitely more tougher. Yes, the only advantage is that today, if, uh, uh, at when I started, I'll, let me talk about myself. Yeah. When I started off, uh, people knew about me. If I wanted to approach somebody, people would have, would have met me. Gee. But nobody is going to invest crores and crores and crores of rupees uh, just because you're somebody's brother or somebody's son. And uh, probably that's the reason um, I had this phase where I got into production. I was the same brother of uh, younger brother of Anil and Boni. There was a phase where I was not uh, really in front of the camera. That suddenly I was not the sibling. So finally, uh, it's your work which gets you work. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 what it is. You do know your daughter is the most sought after face, and there's like, I mean, she's in the news. I mean, what would you tell her? Because, I mean, it's amazing, and she's got. As I say, she's got well, the best. Right now, let me be selfish and only talk about. Family. <laughs> she'll just, have a she'll have a moments, and I think so. It's too early to talk with her, but I, I just because you asked that question, I just feel God's kind. And she needs everybody's blessings. That's uh, all I can absolutely. say. Absolutely. And talking about coming back to the fame game, since what were your reasons to saying yes when they came to you? Was it your character? Because he is like, I mean, well, I don't want to uh, give out. <laughs> well, there's so many reasons. There's so many reasons. Obviously, as an actor, when you hear the script, uh, you know, first of all, the script and your role has to be the most interesting thing. But there were so many things to it, yeah. I was getting, you know, when I, I remember January uh, 9th, 2020, I, I'm very good with dates. I met Sri Rao <laughs> for the first time and when he narrated, I'd, I'd met him on Zoom, but he yeah. wanted to meet me in person. So I had so many friends in the house so that he would sign me quickly and give me a little bit of respect. And from that time, the journey started and it was just fantastic. Like, here was this creator who had written a fantastic script, yeah. who was so in sync with everything at all. That meeting itself, he was talking about the sets, he was talking about the costumes. It was a fantastic meeting in there. Then, by then already, you know, Madhuri was already signed and I was getting a chance to come back and be on the same space with her on screen again. 
uh, then uh, obviously Karan and Dharma, Dharmatics was producing it, Apurva and Karan, and then obviously it was coming on uh, Netflix. So there were too many reasons for me, uh, uh, you know, before he could finish it, I was already uh, on board and I, you know, it was very, very exciting for me. There were too many reasons for me to be part of the fame game and I'm so glad that I'm part of it. As I would say, love him, hate him, you can't ignore Nikhil. Absolutely, and absolutely. You can't. And lastly, for someone, I like the way you said struggles, hardship. Oh, that's good. You know, when you look back, I can only well imagine what you may have gone through, but later in life, you look back at a new romanticism. No, you know, with me, it's not been I look back. My journey, whether I've been on high, low, I've always had a smile because what my That's father what? what my father taught me, you never look at the five people who are ahead of you. There are 94 people behind you who could be more deserving than you were. So if you keep that in mind, if in front of the camera I'm there, Today, after 28 years, I'm doing the fame game on Netflix, produced by Karan Jor, opposite Madhuri Dixit. I must have done something right. Absolutely. Here. So, so uh, yeah, so you, you don't give up. You always keep smiling. If you've got it in you, your time will come. Absolutely. That's what I believe in. So lastly, what is the one change you actually want to see for somebody being in the business for long, having up, observed it up close and personal? I don't, I, I think so. It should be organic, the way uh, organically changes are happened happening it's very very uh, very very nice it's it's good i've seen uh, uh, i started over time when we were doing 9 to 10 films shooting five films at a time uh, before my first film releases release i was doing four films at a time i was already had done double shifts so i have gone through that phase also and here now when you take up a project you finish that project and get into night another project obviously there are pros and cons to everything but this definitely is a very very this for me, the best thing what has changed today is workshop, acting workshops. Today, when you are in front of the camera, you've always already read your scenes. You have the hardbound script in your hand. You met all the actors. Uh, I remember when I did uh, Last Stories, I'll go back to that. I didn't know Jaydeep at all. I'd worked with Manisha in two films. But when I was in set, we were supposed to play Best of Friends. If it was earlier times, I would have met him on set for the first time. Here, we had already done the reading and we had done workshops. So the body language and the chemistry was all, already there. So I think so. the best change which has come is hardbound scripts today for which ac actors get and these work workshops. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Since a family of just actors, actors, a Kapoor production should we see everyone together? There's so much of talent. I hope some, something, something good happens, a good script happens, because we've never made a film just for cashing on things. And that's the reason Anil and me have never come in a film together. Yeah, yeah, very, very soon. Hopefully it happens where we all can be part of it. It'll be great. great Absolutely. Yeah. Second generation and third yeah. generation would be awesome. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Not at all. Pleasure is all, all mine. All the very best for the fame game. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.